Hello, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to do uh, a little share about the adult coloring books, the craze that's going on now. Um, now, doing my usual uh, scroll through of the, the subscribers that I subscribe to and um, came upon, of course, the lovely books by Johanna Bassford. Um, Enchanted Garden, no, Enchanted Forest, Secret Garden. I think Secret Garden was the first one she came out with. And Lost Ocean. And that was the one that I really wanted. I loved the Lost Ocean. So, you know, I went to Amazon and I got it on there and I put it in my wish list, you know. Um, and then I went back to YouTube and started looking at other videos about adult coloring books. I found a really great one by Sandy Alnook. Um, I'll list it in, I'll put a link to her video in the description box because she goes over, she has a stack of coloring books. She's an artist for um, Hero Arts. Um, she colors with Copics a lot um, and is very good at that. But she's mainly a stamper and a card maker and stuff. Um, but, you know, dabbles in all the different um, mediums and stuff, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know a ton about her, but she actually goes through the coloring books and reviews them um, about the paper quality. Uh, she talks about using different, the, the video is called Artist and Adult Coloring Books. So why it's so good for those of us who love other mediums, not just coloring with crayon or even colored pencil, um, but using your watercolors or um, markers, your Copics or any type of markers. That I just got the Tombos and things like that. She goes over all of these different mediums and um, it's a wonderful video for those of you who are interested in this craze and haven't quite gotten there yet. You're not sure about it. Um, the other thing is uh, I've just kind of decided that I'm not going to invest anymore in coloring books because if I'm really being, you know, I love the Johanna um, Bassford books are gorgeous, beautiful illustrations. They have gold foiling on their covers. You know, they're beautiful books. They're only about 10 bucks on Amazon, so it's not too much of an investment. But am I going to use them? Now, I've had these two. Back when I started um, to Zentangle and um, found Joanna, Joanne Fink, uh, I got this Inspirations designs to feed your spirit coloring book right so it's basically some of her designs that she's designed using her um, Zentangle and it's her um, Zendangle techniques so um, it's a beautiful book and it's been sitting over there and I don't think I last night I did one but I wanted to see did I actually color in here well I think maybe Maya did that um, until last night, I don't think I had touched this book. Nope, not one page was colored. And this one is the type that has all the pages colored for you to reference, too. Um, but I thought, I'm just, just while we were watching TV. So I did that. And then I have this other one. This is by Design Originals. And they're the ones that make the Zentangle books. Um, this one's by Thania McArdle, and it, it's called Peace and Love, and I just love that. I mean, it's, it's, it's the same similar tech thing. It has colored versions of the images in the back, um, and these are one-sided pages. Let's see if uh, Joanne's are. Yeah, they're one-sided, which is good because that way, if you do use wet media, which I didn't hear. Now, this one, I think I was trying out... Um, some pencils that I got for Maya and these are like metallic pencils um, I think I got them I don't know a while back and I gave them to her so I couldn't even play with them again um, and then this one I did with uh, my ink tense pencils and you can tell the page is all you know it's all messed up because the paper isn't watercolor paper it's just I mean, it's not the flimsiest paper. It's kind of smooth and 
this was done with my Tombows and I was just seeing how the paper took the color and you can see all the line marks like if I if I so you see how like you can you can tell where I went over the color you see that so it doesn't it doesn't even take straight color without blending of a marker um, without showing all those lines so um, it I mean and I wasn't trying to do anything artsy I was just coloring and seeing what happened on that page um, and that's basically it but I mean there's beautiful uh, references here for color if you wanted to maybe you could copy this off onto watercolor paper I'm not sure because watercolor paper unless it's hot pressed it's pretty bumpy um, but I think I just like the images and I just was at a bookstore and just bought these um, so and then last night like I said I was playing mostly with this is all done with uh, I think I used these I used the Statler are these Statler yeah the Statler pens the, the tripless fine liners I used them and my gel pens um, on this particular page and I just kind of instead of coloring in the big areas oh sorry I'm still zoomed in I'm sorry hello I just made lines like to get it to look like it was colored in so for the like for the waves I just made lines to get it to look colored you know so that was fun I just did it while I was watching TV and I think that like if you're traveling or something these would be great to bring on an airplane if you can if you can <laughs> bring you know I have a, a couple of different um, these are some uh, just regular um, colored pencils these are the Prismacolor regular pencils. I think I got some with flesh tones when I was doing uh, taking the class with um, oh anyway but you just have to gather up all your pens like this is a lot of pens to bring on an airplane you know so it's interesting it's a it's a very interesting um, if you're just like I could just leave this by the TV and this again it's another one I basically zentangled the tree with just curly cues and I did my leaves in two-tone with like lines and I just did everything with lines instead of coloring it in and I did this with just the Staedtler pens so let's see if I did now this one I started to do with just the glaze pens and that's a um, a jelly roll brand let's see glaze yeah and they they're supposed to be like have a little bit of um like they stand up a little and I didn't get that result so I was just playing with basically with the pens I have and seeing what I could do and this is it I don't like I said I don't think I'll buy another coloring book um, if someone were to give me one I wouldn't hate that you know what I mean because I love all this stuff too um, every time you know me I'm the, the every time something new comes around I want to get it but I'm so glad that I did a little bit more research before I just jumped in and started buying a bunch of books that are just going to sit over there and I'm really not going to use. So um, I just wanted you guys to hear that and also I will put Sandy's video. It's long. It's like 40 minutes long, but she goes over everything. She goes over exactly how the pens take to the paper um, and the fact that uh, the ones by Joanna are double sided so if you're using anything that's going to bleed through you have to sacrifice the other page behind it um, just everything everything you wanted to know oh am I still zoomed in I'm so sorry <laughs> about adult coloring books so um, I think they're great though I do I love um, I used to color when I was a kid obviously I mean we all did probably um, but um, and I still love to color like with Maya we'll get the coloring books out from time to time and just have a coloring session um, and I do feel like it's a great I think it'll it's a f kind of a flash in the pan thing I think it'll be here and it's all the rage and then it'll go away um, but while it's here I just thought I'd give you um, 
my little two cents. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.